Hello, welcome to my part 2 video of the GG822 Pro from Rijkel. Um, I have uh, received this uh, device a few weeks ago and I already played a little bit with it and I want to make a uh, next video to see to show you what uh, are the possibilities of this device. Um, what I have done here is uh, I've set up the both uh, channels to my uh, oscilloscope uh, so we can play a little bit and see what is uh, going on directly on the channels. Before I want to start uh, to showing that I uh, only want to say this is then the A22 which means that is a 25 megahertz maximum uh, uh, for both channels. It is a two channel uh, device. Uh, with 625 mega samples per second, which is huge. Um, compared to the device I have, uh, I had a uh, Viltech, uh, as, as you can see here below, but there were some important drawbacks for me that I changed for uh, that one. Uh, There's also 16 bits, so the resolution is also increased, and um, it has. Uh, um, yeah, a much much better, bigger display than this this small one. So I think this is a uh, an uh, yeah a good uh, increment uh, for your uh, for your lab, I would say. Um, there is also a 900 series, which has uh, even uh, frequencies uh, going up to 200 megahertz. It is also doubling the mega samples, uh, and the memory is also increased. Also the counter here it is 500 megahertz and on the 900 uh, series you can get uh, 1 gigahertz even. In this setup I have uh, put the frequency on both channels on uh, 1 uh, kilohertz. Uh, it's uh, very easy to, uh, to change that, you can do that via the mouse, uh, you can do that also via the touch screen to say 1 kilohertz, you can uh, uh, do that also with this dial button so switching on the channel you can do that manually via, via the buttons as you can see, you can also do it via, via the touch screen uh, or via the mouse touch screen <laughs> both is possible and here we have channel 1 and 2. You already can see uh, both channels are uh, more or less the same, uh, 1 kilohertz. Uh, you can see here on the counter the C1, that, that is a uh, hardware counter uh, in the oscilloscope, and C2, uh, that's the second channel, but that is measuring uh, the, 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 the real time output on the acquisition uh, memory, so that is always a little bit. Uh, 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 yeah, not 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 stable, but um, what you can see here is that uh, the both signals are uh, not aligned. Although the phase is zero, the phase is also there uh, zero. But if you push this bet button, you see the phase is uh, identical. Let's now change the frequency of uh, the first channel a little bit so I put here a frequency of uh, 1000.1 Hz and you can already immediately see a kind of uh, shifting uh, which is uh, yeah expected because they are not in line at the moment that you do a line phase you can see that yeah this is aligning if you press the button well it is starting and then it is shifting from there again it is very easy to uh, change uh, the configuration of channel 1 with configuration of channel 2 or vice versa uh, so let's say we change the um, waveform only 
for changing purposes and let's say we want to change the blue one with the yellow one so what we can do here is we swap and then you can in immediately see that uh, indeed the channels are in, uh, are swapped uh, you notice also that the, 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 the rival has to think a little bit about that I will do it again see it? The, the signal is going uh, for a very short time it is gone but uh, it, it is uh, it's working well, very well one of the functions which I uh, like uh, also is if you go to uh, the coupling menu here you can uh, couple channel 1 with channel 2 that means that when whatever you change on channel 1 it will be also uh, changed on channel 2 or the other way around and you can do that with uh, the frequency the phase and the uh, amplitude if you like so here you can see uh, the base uh, channel is uh, here channel 1 and let's say that we want to connect uh, to couple the frequency and we want to do that with a specific ratio I would say I will do it uh, with uh, uh, five times for instance so now what is going on if I change now the frequency of this uh, of the first channel and I change it let's say to uh, two then automatically you see that the frequency of channel 2 is brought to 400 hertz because there is a factor 5 uh, uh, in the, in the uh, coupling menu uh, state at point 2 right? or 5 and the other way around if you change that to let's say 1 kilohertz then you see you get here your uh, 5 back you can easily change I put here uh, 5 hertz but I should put there 5 kilohertz and then it is going back to uh, the original situation so this is uh, uh, what you can do with the coupling you can do that also with the phase uh, and the amplitude so amplitude you can also say the same or you can say it is multiplied multiple by two and if you change something uh, here uh, the five volt peak peak it will be ten volt peak peak uh, on the other channel so I have uh, configured the oscilloscope with uh, a trigger which can cope with the harmonics I will inject um, so here we have a sine wave of uh, 1 kilohertz uh, we can activate the harmonic and as you already can see here you uh, uh, have here a second harmonic it is here uh, displayed the order is 2 and uh, here you can specify uh, the amplitude of the, 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 the harmonic and also the phase so let's say uh, we want to have an, uh, not a second but a third harmonic I can do that and you can see that the signal is uh, changing rapidly third, fourth, fifth and you can do that up to 20 so this is the maximum you are already the beep is uh, beeping that it will not go further than 20 which is according to the specification so what we can do also with the oscilloscope is to put the uh, system in the fast Fourier transformation and then we can see uh, also on the, in the frequency domain that there is an, an uh, harmonic uh, added to the signal <coughs> I have to switch it on so and here it is 
Um, here you can see that the 20, uh, we have a 20 order and in the heat on 20 kilohertz you see here a peak while the fundamental frequency it is on 1 kilohertz. Um, so if I change that back to a lower order 19 you see that this peak is also going back to the fundamental frequency yeah. oh that's something you have to watch with the touch screen and here we have yeah, the fundamental plus the second so that is one big uh, peak now but here you can see more uh, the differentiation uh, between the two signals or harmonic I have to say of course it is also possible to add uh, multiple harmonics if you uh, want to have it and you have to define that in this kind of uh, bitmap so there are here uh, 20 zeros uh, the first one is x that means that is the fundamental you cannot change of course uh, but you can change uh, let's say the second uh, uh, harmonic and the third and the fourth let's we'll do it like that and then yeah you can here see that you will get <laughs> it is only one big uh, peak now but let's change that and let's do uh, a more random okay I hope I don't know where, the, where I am but no okay Okay, here you can see that there are more how many harmonics uh, displayed. So that's nice. Uh, it's also possible to uh, specify per uh, harmonic the uh, different uh, amplitude and phase. And you can change that uh, in this uh, uh, on the touch screen. So you can change that in another value and it will adapt uh, accordingly so that's good that's nice i uh, i like that feature because i was missing such a thing in my uh, field tech some other nice things are the possibility to uh, preset uh, certain states although here again you cannot define it by a nice name you you can store your uh, configuration in uh, one of the five states and, and can say uh, apply uh, I would prefer to have that uh, that you have an, can type a little name or whatever uh, because I don't know after a week what 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 is stored in which state so uh, but okay it is possible that that's good um, other things in utility yeah you can see it is uh, connected uh, via internet uh, via DHCP and um, it will also retrieve the time as you can see here the time uh, it is the Chinese time you can correct it but after you have corrected the next time that you start the uh, waveform generator uh, up then it will go back to Chinese time and that was also with my uh, multimeter and so that is an uh, nah. it looks like that they are only making it for the Chinese market or something I don't know hopefully this will be fixed uh, that's uh, a little bug um, further yeah you can uh, change also if you want to have that uh, you have here this dot and 
comma, but you can change that uh, to yeah, that the comma is a point, and here you can let's say that the separate is in space. Yeah? It is uh, if if you want to uh, do that or have none. So yeah, but then you have to count all this zero. So I don't know if that is uh, handy, but there is some kind of uh, uh, configuration possibility. Um, other options you can uh, configure is the, after switching on, do you want to have a default setting or your last setting? I take always the last setting because my project is never ending, so I uh, always want to have uh, the last setting uh, after I switch off the device. But you can change that. Um, here also clock source, I know that there is a uh, 10 megahertz uh, possibility to uh, connect that to, uh, for instance, this oscilloscope is, has also a 10 megahertz uh, 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 BNC connector, so I will do that uh, when I have more time, then I will also connect that and see if uh, if you get a, maybe a better uh, uh, clock signal. I don't know, it's already good, I would say, but okay, uh, I have to test that further. There's one thing which I didn't know that about that, that you cannot use the counter uh, together with channel 2 because I've seen that that if you uh, do the following you switch the channel 2 on so you have here uh, okay let's change that Uh, you have to press the button well, what is happening at the moment that I switch off on the counter you get here the display of the counter channel 2 is gone but still the signal is there but at the moment that I put, press the button on on and then my channel 2 is gone so although in the manual it is stated that uh, the counter can uh, work uh, independently yeah i don't know what they mean with independently or from what i was thinking of the other uh, channels but that that seems to be not the case then hmm. that's that's a pity in my next part of the review I will go into the details of the arbitrary waveform uh, generator possibilities and I also want to use the trigger and the internal external outputs uh, to see uh, how that is uh, working so if you like the video please give some thumbs up and I will make an, uh, another video if, uh, if, if, if this is uh, if people want to have that and uh, yeah see you uh, hopefully next time thank you for uh, watching